Welcome everyone to an arena video. This is Andrea Mangucci and this video is sponsored to you by channelfarball.com and Ultimate Guard. A deck and I'm gonna put that one on. From now on, I think I'm not gonna update the exclamation mark decks anymore with uh, Digi Goldfish. Feels bad for the resulting draft in PT with your awesome BG deck. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you lose, right? I did not play very well in one of the matches that I think I could have won. And I had a very, very close game, the first one where I got decked. So at the end, uh, it's I think it's a fine result. Like, I could have done maybe 2-1, maybe 1-2. I ended up going 0-3. You know, sometimes uh, sometimes you play sometimes you play tight and get a 3-0. Sometimes you don't play very tight and get rightfully so to 0-3. So I think it's very good magic for that reason. I'm going to actually pass the turn here. I just want to go for creatures. I don't really want to go Good Nice Remorse right now. I specif I specifically stream for you, Vanderlark. All right, all right. That's what we're doing here. This stream is only for Vanderlark. Everybody else, please leave the stream now. As this is a Vanderlark stream only. Do you think it's a better way to build this deck with Bugler Red for I I don't know, soon and hey, I just started. I know people love to get answers immediately, but I just started my stream five minutes ago and this is my first play with this deck. Uh, I actually don't know how good Rankle is because it, it's gonna depend, like the playability of this deck is gonna highly depend on how good Rankle is. Okay, now the question is, anything on casting is gonna get countered by a Absorb, all right? So we need to cast a weaker threat. That's how these decks work. So I'm just gonna cast a Murderous Raider face up. It's weird, right? It's very strange. But my opponent is playing a, strat a control strategy and we need to respect that. So we need to basically not, not do much, not do much. Right now I'm just gonna cast, not gonna cast anything. You can stay ready mom, ready mom. You, you, you can ask him though, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know. Did you mana screw? No, no, I played I played all my game. One one game I got I got color screw, yes. But I think I've played all my game. I'm gonna pass here. I told you guys, I have a clock here. My opponent did not use his absorb on this. And now they are just falling slightly behind. We're attacking them down to seven. That's kind of how you play this deck in uh, in Pioneer 2, if you ever want to play this deck in Pioneer as well. Rankle not very good versus Borrower. That is true. That is true. I'll put us on seven. Okay, now the question is, what do we want to do? I think I can just shift the, the turn again. I don't want to play anything into Absorb. O obviously, this could be wrong. This could go wrong, you know? They can just go, like, pass intervention and, like, do some crazy stuff. But I think this is okay. We're going to start thinking about Remorse. Not when they can Absorb and gain three life. Like, right now, they are under pressure. Resident Barra cannot block the Blacklands Power Gun. <laughs> you stayed in and I told you to leave. Alright, so Resident Barra comes in. Now we can uh, destroy with the Murderous Raider. Let's do that. Thank you, Vanderlark, for the subscription. It wasn't needed, but thanks. <laughs> Uh, thank you, thank you. Now we can Remorse. Unfortunately, this is the end of turn. Remorse is a sorcery speed, so you can't do anything right now. If they go uh, the 3-5, we are in troubles. But they didn't do that. So we're just going to keep on attacking. This is a weird game. It's not guaranteed to be right, but from my read, my opponent ended up absorbing it, okay? And you kind of just have to play by the reads sometimes in Magic. So I cast this. This is obviously the weaker threat of my hand. An opponent passes. I'm gonna pass again. They don't have uh commence the end game. Whoa, that is a huge raid. Nice. Hello Caleb. Hello everybody from Caleb Stream. Just started the stream with this gi big gift. <laughs> Thanks. Um we're playing Mono Black Aggro today. Standard, of course, on Arena. And we put our opponent down to four life with some random creature by holding everything in our hand. Thank you, Vanderlark, and of course, thank you, Caleb, and everybody else who's gonna stick around today. 
Opponents trying to resolve a Gadwick, which is pretty cool. Do they have a counter for my Rankle? That's a good question, right? Okay, let's play... Ooh, that's a good card. Let's play it as following. I'm going to go Agonizing Remorse first to clear the way and then win the game with Rankle. This game has not been easy. I think there is nothing my opponent can do here and they just lose. But I think this game has not been easy. I'm very, very happy on how this game shaped up. And it's kind of the way you have to play against Blue-White whenever you are... Yeah, see, they had absorbed the whole time. Okay, so now, actually, unfortunately... Alain Chevenier. Alain Chevenier. Thank you for the subscription. All right, my opponent has six counters in end. Okay, so it was pretty cool the way the way we we went this game, but just never let them cast anything. I'm just gonna take Absorb here, okay? Because everything else is just a counter that I can uh, that I can uh, is just a one for one with me. So here, now my opponent will just trade the Gadwick with a Blacklands Paragon. Right? So I'm just gonna attack with a Black Lens Power Gun only because I don't want them to, you know, eat my Murderous Raider. And now they trade, of course, they don't wanna go to one because they have nothing in hand. Their hand is just mono reactive cards. So the way you play against these kind of hands is just by sticking a threat, best end of turn, and they just don't cast anything anymore. Put in this two mana. Yes, they can't. We can't cast anything now because they have Quench. So there's no point in casting a card into their Quench. You just make them spend the mana every time, not do anything. That's very important. Like they took the damage, so now unless they draw something, they're dead on board. They have to draw something here, otherwise just attack with both of my creatures, and they can't deploy anything. They just can't put anything on the stack. These cards all says counter target spell. You can't cast a counter without a target. Is the deck legit? Yeah, black white doom is cool. All right, they dropped, which of course is a great it is a great draw because now they can't tap my creature and not die anymore. So you know. Is Carbolev working for anybody? Um, mm, all right, it wasn't working because I did not uh, upload it. I'm sorry. It, okay, now they resolved the opt. I didn't know because I was looking at Carbolev, but I'm not gonna attack. And what am I doing? Um, once again, I don't think I'm casting anything. I have seven mana. All right, one second. Let me let me open the. Carbo Live thing. Okay, Carbo Live now should be working. Anyway, so. Mm -mm -mm. So they can cast two counters Quench and Sinister Sabotage. We have seven mana, so I can cast two threats, but they will be able to counter both of them. So I'm just gonna pass the turn again, I think. Hmm. This is interesting though, because I could cast like Murderous Raider. They will Sinister Sabotage and Surveil. I think I'm just passing. It's. It's it's interesting this game. Table passage and do they have another spell? They need to have another spell or they die here. Same slot, same spot as before. Thanks for turning. Yeah, sorry for the carbo live. I try. Uh, it's just that I haven't been streaming in a few days, so I did not. I did not have that up. You know, normally this is not a normal game of magic, but counter magic sometimes require you to do that. All right, what are they doing? Do they have a wrath of God? It looks like they have a wrath of God. Shutter the sky. Okay, unfortunately, we don't draw any card. But now they only have one counter up. So what we're going to do is uh, just playing one of these, and then I'll just play Grey Merchant and win the game. Yeah. When do you bait out Counterspell, though? Not now. My opponent has too many Counterspell to bait them out. You just need to double spell. You just need to double spell in a way where they can't resolve, okay? Why not two of a rankle? Yeah, that's true. I should have done the two of a rankle. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I should have done that. I should have done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, f I didn't think I could have done that. Yeah, that's, that's true. I should have done that. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, guaranteed death for sure. I, I didn't, I didn't think I, I had a guaranteed death, but I did. All right, good game, good game. This, this game was very, very nice. Good morning, Irish MT L. Irish MTL, you unlocked the the the, the Aperol Spritz badge. Do you like it? Twelve months, my friend. Very very nice. All right, so we got the win. The game was very good, and uh, we have our, our duress and Devril cyber plan.
which is obviously great. I need to just board up some creatures here. I think I'm gonna board up Grey Merchant. This is just too expensive, and as you saw, playing expensive cards into their uh, into their their, their counter is, is not what you want to do. Three cards that I can cut are probably just. I don't really know because I don't want to cut any of the of this cheap car. So it needs to be something here. It needs to be something here. It can be like two Midnight Reaper, one Rankle. Although Midnight Reaper obviously is great against the uh, Shadow of the Sky. It can be like was try to murder was right or Rankle. Yeah, just let's just do one of a kind, right? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. LA Chevanier, the mono red is good. I wrote an article for Channel Fireball. It's gonna go out in in few days. With uh, it's gonna go out in few days. And there's also you you can check you can check my videos for sure about the deck. There's a I don't know if you guys know, but there's I got a YouTube channel where I upload where I upload the pasta stream. I mean, I, I don't do that. Uh, an editor uploads the pasta stream and uh, at some, yeah, dominating the challenge with mono red, I think, yes. So you can watch this video where I play, where I go 7-0 with, uh, with mono red. Good morning, Arctic Moon. You know guys that have played against Arctic Moon on the side event in, G in, P in, G in GP Brussels. On Sunday of GP Brussels, I played against Arctic Moon, a mirror match of Team of Reclamation. That was cool. What of the channel under the stream? Does that mean I'll make that? It was embarrassing. It wasn't. You learned. You learned. You know. You learned something. It's never. It's never embarrassing to learn. What's the best deck for best of one? I don't have an answer. Magic is doesn't really have best decks. If they have best decks, they're probably going to be banned. So format is very balanced. You can just play whatever you please. I really like to just curve out with 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 one drop. Okay, now I think I'm gonna go for Gonizing Remorse. If they counter it, it's okay. I wanna curve out here. The YouTube channel under the stream. Yeah, you said that, but I don't know what that means. I have a YouTube channel. It's commission mark YouTube. You go there. I, I broke it with Monorad. I didn't really broke it. It was just a pretty straight up Monorad. But yeah, Monorad is, is very good right now. Um, I think I'm going to play a War Strider. I wanna kinda of keep Devriel. Devriel is very good in this matchup. I agree that blue white is overrated. When did I say that? I don't think blue white is overrated. I think blue white is a very good deck right now in standard. If I like Crooked's uh, tweet, it doesn't mean that I agree with him. It's just I just I like his personality. I yeah, shouldn't have been, I should have maybe not play Castle Lock Rain. I just did not expect Field of Ruin in uh, in standard. All right. If you want to know the card, first thing first, the the the, the cover life should work. The better way is a spoiler, Davriel. Exclamation mark spoiler. Hmm. Aspetta. Exclamation mark spoiler is the best uh, is the best way to learn what a card does. I think at least. Maybe I'm wrong. CBL doesn't load anything. Come on, CBL, what are you doing? Is Carbolev not working? I'll I'll restart it. Anyway. Um, what do we do here? We need to double spell for sure. I think I'm going to play a Gutter Bones and then I'm going to play a Davril. Yeah, I think I'm going to play a Davril here. I know that I can easily have a counter here, but I just really, really want to just curve out with bigger threats. I don't really want to play this into a Wrath. Yeah. Also, I kind of, I don't know. I don't know. It might have not had it, I don't know. In the meanwhile, we just have a like big like this matchup in Pioneer is very positive for Mono Black, and uh, you know drawing cards like God of Bones it kind of reminds me of that. I'm just gonna play a land and pause the turn here, drawing with a castle. Could have drawn right now to get a duress. Yeah. Last turn, I also cast the Devriel because I didn't want them to kill Chemistry's inside. Although now I don't have much to do. Red Deck Queen loses to Blue White. Yeah, it's not very positive, but. If you watch my video, I've played against Blue White a couple of times. I did not choose a deck for words yet. The deadline was going to be on Wednesday, and I'm not going to reveal it until it's public. All right, you go to nine. Now, what do we do? I think I'm going to just draw a card again. 
Drawing two cards is like very big deal on the spot, and I have DRS and Agonizing Remorse to cast here. So I think it's good. Uh, I'm just gonna cast Knight of the Abel Legion. It's a good threat here. It's gonna get a counter because opponent took four die four life. We also took four damage, I think. So both of us took four damage. And if opponent goes Shadow of the Sky, that's okay. I can just restart rebuild with a War Strider or with something else. Yeah, so our castle here drew two cards. It's like very good, you know? Not that many lands draw you two cards. Like Castle Bunchers Cry. You know, the red one plump your creatures. The black one draws cards. This is, I guess the green one is more powerful, but this is very, very good. Good morning, Gira. Gira1, guys, our moderator, also 12-month subscriber, is the, 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 the you know, a player who was with me in Brussels and also had some cool ideas about how, how to build this deck properly. So hopefully, hopefully it's going to work out. All right. Um, I'm just going to go with Strider from the bin. I think it's the best, it's the best threat to cast. If I just go Martyrus Raider here, opponent just double spells. Opponent just, just like bounces it with, uh, with, um, the Fairy. How to call this deck? We call this deck Franco, but people, chat still don't know, don't know why. So, because I just yeah, haven't, haven't, haven't resolved Rankle yet. Alright, yeah, I just got a bunch of Mina Reaper. I guess it's time to cast him. I guess it's time to cast him. We need to draw we need to draw discard spells. We haven't drawn any discard spells. We play so many. Green one is the worst. Unfortunately, green one, uh, if you think the green one is the worst, you don't really have a you don't really have a concept on how like cheating with mana is like one of the most important things in magic. Like going from five mana to six is huge. It's it's a thing that you know it's 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 exploited in like modern. Drawing cards is great indeed, but like getting getting one free mana, it's something that's banned in multiple formats. My opponent deck is only counter spell. Yeah, they are. They are. They're blue white control. A lot of people loves. Uh, a lot of people loves to play counter magic in magic. There's, I don't really believe in tears. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is good. This is very good. I think I'm just gonna give up. I think I'm just going to give up here. I can't really beat that card. I guess I could have Farika's Libation in my deck. Hmm, yeah, I think I could bring in Farika's Libation. Actually, I don't know, on the, on the play, because we have Farika's Libation here. Sac target point of sacrifice a creature. We mainly have this the card for Wildness Reclamation. But we could use this for uh, Wing Strider, uh, Dream, Dream Trawler as well. Although I don't really want to cyborg out much here. Yeah, I'm just going to discard it with Gnizer Remorse or Davriel. That's just going to be my hope. Let's go with this again. Good morning, the Lazy Dragon. When Wurst Wurstless will be revealed, it's usually a few days before the tournament, so I assume it's going to be revealed like the Wednesday or the Tuesday before Words. Liliana is the only good answer in black. It costs six mana. It can't be a good answer. It costs six mana. Six mana. You have to understand how your deck works. You have to understand, you have to, you have to understand what's your deck going to look like. If my deck tops at four, it means that I just end up playing only 24 lands. I just can't put six drop in my deck. Liliana the Veil would be good, but unfortunately it's not standard legal. We have Liliana Dread or General here. All right, I'm going to keep these handy. It's not, it's not amazing. It's not. Hello, Will. But I'm just going to keep it. I go land, go, land duress. Hopefully draw a creature and then Davriel and then just like, uh, you know, defend myself behind a wall of counter magic. I think I'm just going to take Dovin's Veto here. My opponent, wow, they don't have mana. But mm, they also have the Bow the Creep from a Davriel. That's annoying. All right, so I hate taking Opt here. I think, I believe that taking Opt here is very wrong. Opt is not, you know, a good cantrip. Opt is just a filler cantrip. So even if they like scry to the bottom and draw the card that they need, that would get there the, the turn after. I, I might just take the Devout Degree here. Devout Degree is a very good card. And they might just not draw planes for an Dovin's Veto on turn two. I'm gonna take Devout Degree, which is like the very good card regardless of what's gonna happen. Oh, Liliana's Triumph. Yeah, I've played that at a PT. All right, so now I'll pass. Unfortunately, my hand is not good. 
opponent must be playing some Planeswalker, right? Or at least Teferi. Murderous Rider, it's also just like a fine card, like just a 3 mana 2 3, it's, it's not the worst. Thought Distortion. What's Thought Distortion? Or anyway, they scried. Do they have a white source? They don't. And I'm just gonna uh I'm just gonna cast this Davriel and start wrecking their hands and do you pronounce R differently than standard Italian? Yes, I do. I do, Voicey. I do. I have the so-called R Mosha, which means I don't know, weak R, which means that my R isn't is not a proper a proper Italian R, it's more like a French R. And that's just something you were born with. You can change that, maybe, with practice and stuff like that, but I don't know, my father has it too, and uh, it's just not a big deal at the end. All right, we drew Franco. This, this, this card's called Franco. I want to introduce you to Mr. Franco. But unfortunately, we can't really cast it now. Do we want to bait a counter magic? I don't think so. Franco, Master Pranks. I'm just gonna go Castle and just lose the casual 5 life here. Franco. Mr. Franco. End of turn, boom, take 4 and draw a card. Draw Knight of the Abel Legion. An opponent does not kill our land. They can't do that because we have, uh, we have, uh, you know, just, they, they don't have Sinister Sabotage up if they do that. So I'm just gonna play Knight and draw another card. Actually, I'm gonna draw a card right now. You casted my vote on you, on me, nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a card now because this means that it take five damage and this means that this card gets a counter. It's pretty weird to just take basically nine damage off of your cards. But I'm happy to do so. I'm gonna still keep around the Avril. Eventually, I can use it to uh, make my opponent discard a card, and once I do that, or in the meanwhile, I can just draw a bunch of discard spell, and this card can actually deal uh, damage in my opponent's turn. So here, Knight of the Abolition got a counter because we lost 5 life in our turn with the castle. Why Franco? Because it's called Rankle. Also known as Franco. All right, it... I'm just gonna play another Castle Lockring. Do I wanna lose six life here? I kinda want to do so. I'm just gonna attack first. Opponent can't really deal as much damage. If I play Dream Trawler, I lose regardless. So let's just draw a card. And pass the turn. And that card gets a counter. They still have this Nisar Sabotage up, which we're not giving our opponent any 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 other reason. So we basically took ourselves 16 damage to draw three cards. And then I'm casting a Black Lens Paragon. They've discarded Shatter the Sky to my Dayabriel earlier. I kinda wanna draw one of the discard spell. I mean I play I play eight, I draw only one. I'm on four, so <laughs> I'm not gonna draw many cards right now. But I got a pretty large board. I can let's just pump this guy now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Put this on six. Uh, do I wanna cast something? Do I wanna cast a gutter B? Nah, I'm not gonna do anything. So, or, or, or they surveil with Sinister Sabotage. Let's just let them, uh, you know, just just like keep over their hand and not make him, not make them able to do anything. Not make them able to gain life with Absorb or surveil with Sinister Sabotage. And that's how, we, that's how we play both game one and three, which is like a stacked hand, not doing anything, just like playing our creature and pump them. The Avril sits around there, eventually maybe we just do some damage with this card. I mean, next turn, we have lethal. Again, if they go Shatter the Sky, that's bad, but that means also they tap out and maybe we can resolve them our ankle and stuff like that. They play Gadwick to draw one card. And they play a tap land. And now it's and now it's interesting. 
Well, unfortunately, I can't cast both of the Murderer's Rider because I'm on four life. But I think I'm going to cast one uh, Murderer's Rider to attempt and kill, uh, kill Gadwick. If they go Dovin's... Oh, wow, they don't go Dovin's Vigil, so we win the game. We go to two life, but we're attack our opponent, and that's lethal. All right, great game. Great game here. Great game against this control deck. Hope you guys enjoyed how to play a black aggro strategy against control. This, this, you can, you can basically use all these teachings and put them in the and put them in pioneer in the pioneer uh, range of, of of lessons because pioneer um, mono black against blue white is basically being this, it, it would be the same way. Good morning, Valiant. I did not play Breach in Legacy Danny the Beast. Dead mine to play this kind of game if they draw Embercleave. If they don't Amber don't if they don't draw Embercleave, I think I can't win. But I don't think I can beat Embercleave at any point. Or if I block the Anax, the Embercleave will put it up to a seven power. I'm just super dead if they have Embercleave, okay? So I'll just block the creature that makes the most sense if they don't have Embercleave. If they do, I lose. But they have drawn tw twice Ember Cleave, and there's just not much I can do about it. I could have a Discord spell, but I don't believe Discord spell is where I want to be in this matchup. That that is okay. I think you have to accept. You have to accept games like this. And unfortunately, what's gonna ha what's happening here? I mean, also we are kind of discovering the weakness of the deck, right? We discovered that Mono Black that goes bigger than us as a good matchup, and Mono Red that has just Ember Cleave chilling is better than us. Because if both of the games opponent didn't have Ember Cleave, I think we would have been in the, in the in a nice spot. But our opponent having a more powerful card like Ember Cleave means made so that we are we are just losing here because our deck doesn't have that powerful of a card. Ember Cleave is by far one of the most powerful cards in standard, and there isn't anything close in black. Um, I think it's, I think you don't necessarily need to link the two things, right? Also, they're standard already for MTG up player. Historic is like there in order for you to not throw away your cards after right version of standard, but they want to wait until they have more sets before making it, it a real thing. Last match was close. Yes, it was close, but since they had Amber Cleave, it was pretty much over. Like, at any point... Right, like maybe if I draw land, I would have played Grim Merchant. It would have been more cl closer. But the thing is that I guess I could have just... no. There was no way for me to trade with uh, to trade with Scorch Peter because they would have got a Satyr out of it. So they would have still been able to reanim to to cast Emberclick the turn after. All right, we got our Blackland Spargon, which isn't really a powerful card, but you I believe you need aggressive two drops in this deck. Like, in Pioneer, you have Scrappy Scrounger, which, I mean, obviously it's much worse, but I kind of wanted to build this deck as the one in Pioneer. Why Mono Black today? Because I've played Mono Black in Pioneer, and I really liked it. I had a lot of fun, and the deck was very good for me. I went 8-2 and two in the Pioneer portion, and uh, I just wanted to build a similar deck in Standard with uh, Rankle. Because I don't really see Rankle much played in Standard, and I believe it to be super powerful, at least in Pioneer. For example, when I put in place a creature, I can't just kill it with Rankles, sacrificing the goat. That's just a big value that we're doing for free. Like, this card is very, very powerful. The what's it, um, the words is going to be the first three rounds of draft, and then it's going to be standard. This figure. Yeah, yeah, I could, I could easily see using this figure. I tuned my list to be able to beat Blue, White, and Teamer over other strategies, but I could see using uh, this figure instead. All right, you always need to kill Teferi. Teferi is just a card that it needs to die. Okay, chat? And I'm going to choose uh, Draw and Discard. Because the, the Draw aspect of the game makes your opponent... Um, Makes your opponent lose one life, which is relevant. Plus, if they have already seven cards in hand, drawing an extra card is not going to be as impactful as you drawing an extra card. Thank you, Kappa Tulub. It's going to be draft on arena. I think they've explained. I think they've explained how draft is going to work.
but I'm I'm not sure. If they didn't explain it yet, I don't wanna I don't wanna tell. Alright, Ulo comes in. They did, okay. How are they gonna do the drafts? Okay, opponent shocked with Bread and Pool and plays a Fubble Passage. Agonese Ramos is a great draw. Alright, let's attack first. Alright, they did explain it. Okay, good. So we're gonna draft in paper on Thursday, and then they're gonna import the deck on arena, and then we're gonna play on Friday on arena with the deck that we drafted in paper on Thursday. Which was, you know, very a very very good uh way to uh play around the the fact that you can't really draft on paper on arena yet. Thank you, found. Uh, all right, so what do we do here? I think I want to go Agonizing Remorse. I don't really know what's in their hand. They have so many cards in end. God's with Questing Beast the Fairy. All right, I'm not afraid of Questing Beast, right? Because they can't double they can't double creature. I'm just going to exile a Gadwick. They can't double creature, so if they play Questing Beast, I have a Rank already. ready. Arena doesn't support 40 card constructed yet. Yeah, they they will they will uh, they will enable that. Yeah, Upper Dasher. I didn't really want to reveal it if they hadn't announced it yet, so that's why I was uh, hesitant into answering the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got it, Darkness. You got it. Okay, so they got Fairy. They keep on bouncing my Wolf Strider. We got this Goat tokens. I should have probably sacrificed one to Scry. I I missed that. I'm sorry. I was reading chat. Classic blaming chat. Spawn of Maima is a more aggressive tree drop than Strider. Uh, Strider is more synergizing with Rankle. It makes you sacrifice a goat. Also, Spawn of Maima sometimes just don't, are not attacking on turn one or two, so. Alright, so opponent has a Brazen Barber to block my Rankle, so you can't just put Rankle on the stack here. Uh, what do we do? I can't just attack them. I believe that my opponent deck doesn't really have like Wrath of God or stuff like this, so I'm gonna ignore the fairy for a while. I'm just gonna attack them with Black Lance Paragon, putting them down to four, and then winning the game with uh, uh, Grey Merchant next turn. That's what I'm going to do. Asper Control is good, yeah. Asper Control is definitely one of the strongest choice. I'm just gonna go double Wolf Strider. I think double 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 creature is good here. And I can't suck the Omen and Flashback Ura. They still don't have cards in the graveyard. And they attack the Fairy, they could they would have a double cards in the graveyard. So I got like Infinite Goat Stoker, which I'm not doing anything with. Oh, Radical Mary, are you uh, the are are you from Hawaii? I, I am going to go to Hawaii reasonably soon. Unfortunately for the stream, again, I'm gonna be departing from the stream. It's it's kind of tough to manage the professional aspect of the game and the streamer, but I will be going to to Hawaii on Friday. Uh, I'm gonna just chill there, take my, enjoy my Hawaii time, and then I'm gonna be playing on, starting on Thursday. Esper versus Monrad is scary. Is it though? I think Esper is fine against it. You have Oath of Kaya, which is um, uh, very, very strong, and you have plenty of ways to deal with the cleave. You live in Honolulu, nice, very nice. Living in Honolulu is uh, cool, it's cool. Enjoy my time, yes. All right, I think I'm going to sacrifice the card that they target now because I don't want them to draw a card. They're they're kind of desperate, I believe. So I'm just gonna sacrifice this Wolf Strider and make my opponent not draw a card with the Fairy. Basically, fizzle their draw card with the Fairy, denying a draw, the, the, denying that. And then we have Asphodel in hand, Rankle in hand. I'll put in try to deal with our creature. That really didn't accomplish much in this game. Dev, da dev, da dev, da dev six to eight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the stream. All right, so I'm playing as a control deck. Although I didn't have too many spells, I don't know how I feel about duress. I don't really want to hate. I don't really want to mess with duress. Noxious Graft, I think, is good. It kills Questing Beast and the Fairy, and Uro. Um, I'm in doubt what how to sideboard it here. I'm very much in doubt. I'm gonna cut some merchants. Just Sky Cavalier is right now. I I don't think you can keep up with the Go Big deck. Team Reclamation and Blue Green Ramp are a strong choice, and those go bigger than Just Sky Cavalier. I think it's still a fine deck, but I just think that's not as good as it was before. 
World Championship will be will start the 13th of February. Yeah, Radical Mari. We got our hotel in Waikiki. We're just gonna explore. Wow, look at this end. This, this end is nice. One, two, three, and four drop. This is this is a very good end. Thank you very much, Emanuela, for the Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome to the stream. Fistan Detlus. Senegalia's beach is better than Hawaii? I don't believe so. Senegalia is very nice beach on, 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 on summer, but the sea of Hawaii, it's something uh, without, you know. Is there a better one drop than Ebor Knight? Oh, Knight of the Ebor Legion is one of the best one drop for a while. This card, my friend, is so good. It's so good. Mark Mora 98. Let us appreciate today. Thank you very much, guys. Yes, I'm going to be playing in words. If, if you open the client on Arena, you'll see it. You'll see it. It's just on the display. It's pretty cool. It's it's right here. It's right here. If you if you open the Arena client. There's me, Paulo Vitor, Marcio, and Seth. Alright, they cast Udo. Sure. I'll do I'll do my best for sure. What well, what's the time in Hawaii now? Is it is it 10 p.m.? Is Hawaii 12 hours different time zone than here? I believe it is, right? Or is it 11 hours? 11 p.m. So it's 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 11 hours difference. Okay, what do we do? Uh, I think I want to go Wolf Strider and just cry to get a land off the off to cast Rankle. I believe Rankle to be very good in this matchup. No, there won't be any side event. War Arena tournament aren't uh, open. You also like poker? No, I don't. I I've never played anything that's not magic in my life. You don't observe daylight savings. That's cool. That's cool. Inverter deck. Standard meta game. You don't have inverter in standard. Inverter is uh, from a different set. You don't want to start building. Um, right now, standard is very open. There isn't really a clear like winner deck. You can you can really play whatever whatever you feel like. Like I'm not even joking here. There's a, a lot of viable decks. Control is viable. Aggro is viable. Mid range is viable. Ramp is viable. Combo is viable. There's really a deck for every taste right now in standard. Unfortunately, we missed on a land drop. That's kind of sucks because Rankle would have been amazing here. I think I'm going to attack the fairy. Maybe I could have like the Valdecree or some stuff. And I just want to be able to connect with Rankle if I draw land. Blue White is the best control deck according to tourney results. Um I don't think there has been any tournament that justifies it. If you're if you're calling the team event of the Star City game a tournament result, I don't believe so because it's a team event, so it's not really clear what's good or bad. So I believe uh I believe uh, Esper and Blue White to be good as well. I I prefer I honestly prefer Esper because I think that this card spell are very important. Yeah, you see, if I did not attack the Fairy, I would have been able to shadow this guy in my turn. So it's very important to attack the Fairy if you don't have a, a knowledge of opponents. And I don't believe Inverter Throw will be banned is beyond here, no. Uh, okay, let's go Rankle. How many cards my opponent has in that? Alright, opponent will be, will be able to go Uro next turn. But thanks to Rankle, we can kill the Uro by casting en literally anything we want. So let's attack here. I'm definitely going to uh, discard and draw. The question is, what do I discard? I could discard a second Rankle. I think that's okay. Alternatively, I can discard War Strider. But I, really, I kind of want to have uh, War Strider in order to... I kind of want to have War Strider in order to... Um, in order to sacrifice a creature with Rankle for free next turn, if they cast Uro. So yeah, I'm going to discard just Rankle, I think. I guess this can Mina Reaper, that's also a possibility. I don't really see myself casting Mina Reaper here, so yeah, I think I'm fine in discarding it. What deck would you play in Pioneer Tournament? Um, I just uh, came out 
I just came out, um, came out from uh, PT Brussels, where I played Mono Black, and I finished eight and two in Pioneer. Uh, I really liked that deck. It was it was very good for me. I didn't. I don't think there's many bad matchups. I've wrote nothing for Channel Fireball, very extensive. So just tune on Channel Fireball today, and you're gonna see a very very long and detailed article about uh, my about my deck choice for 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 Brussels. You think Esper Mana Base is too inconsistent right now? No, Esper Mana Base is fine. It's just tapped, but I think it's fine. All right, I put in this one card in the end. I'm going to dis discard it for sure. And I'm going to draw a card. I really believe that drawing cards right now is important because I need to hit my land drops. I obviously don't want to make them discard a Pardis Druid. Sorry, sacrifice a Pardis Druid. Actually, I might just not draw any card. How does it feel? Because they still have a play here next turn in Ulo. I think I want to, I think I want to draw a card. Also, drawing card is relevant. The point is on seven already, so let's go to six here. All right, I got my land drop, so that's good. And then I'll pass. Remember, now our non creature spell costs two more. So if you want to cast a murderer's rider, it costs a swift end, it costs five. Otherwise, it costs three. Teferino, va bene. So it never resolved to fear. They're probably going to bounce my Rankle. But you're seeing how good is Rankle in this game, right? Rankle has dealt eight damage. I'll put in this card a Dream Trawler, so they will be able to reanimate it here. This is going to be hard. This is going to be very hard. Let's see how this game is going to go up. Pioneer has a bad mana base. Oh, of course it does. I mean, the best, kind of best decks are monocolored. I I was watching a friend of mine playing Blue Black Inverter. He kept a hand of, uh, um, uh, the Blue Black Shadows Land. The Blue Black Shadowland and two Drowned Catacomb, and it led with three top land in a row while his opponent had just mono black aggro, and he got steamrolled, and he goes like, oh, you know, it's just... Yeah. So Kanyur definitely has a bad mana base. Of course, you can just draw basic land and three Drowned Catacomb, and everything looks great, but on average, you're going to have a lot of troubles. Speaking of troubles, we also are having a lot of troubles here. I can go Rankle. They will reanimate it. Uh, yeah, actually, I can go Rankle. Yeah, this Por Caboya di Uro is very good here. Because I can kill it and that will gain life. What do we do? I can't just go Uro. Because <sighs> 5 to kill Uro. I don't think I can win this game anymore. Chat. I don't think I can. I'll try my best, but I don't think I can. Chocodestri, yeah, exactly. Chocodestri. I'll try my best. But it's gonna be very, very hard here. I'll put it at not gain life. We could have had a chance, but it did not happen. I'll discard what Wolf Strider? Probably, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, so they hit the third counter, which means that they can reanimate the Dream Trawler. Which is pretty good. We can tap it, but they will be able to gain life with Uro. I did not have Uro once again. I would have been able to win this game thanks to Rankle. I believe that Karsten Mana Base is very good. Uh, but sometimes I think you overestimate how high can you go on your double color cards. Ay ay ay. I got I got defeated in this game. Alright, good game. Let's go to game three. So point is playing a Bunt Midrange deck, which we, we explored at some point in our standard testing. Bunt Midrange is a solid choice if you expect a lot of aggro decks. It's pretty bad against the team reclamation and uh and, and semi cramp though. Uh Epic Downfall can exile a bunch of things, but I don't believe I want to do that on the play. On the play I might just have the Great Merchant that just bored out Noxious Grab, which is basically Cyber Zero, just being a very aggressive deck and don't really care about what my opponent doing. Pioneer Mana Base is bad, I think, because they... Um, because they um, believe that the, the, the Shadows over Innistrad lands were playable. And the Shadows over Innistrad lands are not playable, are just basically top land. They're basically like gates. That like sometimes work. So they thought they had more mana fixer, but I believe you don't. 
In fact, I saw Yata Takahashi. I think he did not have Shok Shogun Astro in his uh, in his blue black inverter deck. Okay, we have a pretty reasonable curve here of uh, two drop into one drop into two drop. Our mana curve is expensive though. Here we need to draw more lands. Hello, Gnip. Brussels treated me very well. Thanks. All right, Temple of Plenty. I like here my opponent is starting with a top top land mana base and we're attacking them down. Opponent hasn't cast a spell and they're already on 13. Unfortunately, I missed the land drop, which means that it's not the best. Which means that I can't cast Rankle next turn, also known as Franco. But opponent is under pressure. They need to go like Teferi. They're called Fastlands. No, 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 no. The Fastlands are the one in Kaladesh and Scars of Mirrodin. Those are good. Those are very good. Teferi is, your, is, is a very good play. I definitely need to kill the fairy. I'm gonna kill the fairy and attack them. I can pump, but I don't believe I want to do that. Because if I pump, I won't deploy creatures, and I wanna do that. This way, if they have a Shadows of the Sky, I can still have a 3 1 and maybe follow it up with a rank on the win the game. Shadows lands are called top lands. There is no other name for them. The lands that are built, that are printed in Shadows of Rainistrad, are called top lands. Every other nickname for them is, is wrong, unfortunately. You got my champion? Nice, nice. Like Handlands. No, no, no. Toplands. Toplands is an official name. Checklands will be back soon. We'll see. They will definitely print new, new dual lands. Okay, they shot themselves to play what? Shatter this guy. Uh, that is okay. That is okay. So if we draw land here, we win the game thanks to our Rankle. But it was very important to play around the, the like killing the Teferi and passing the turn with that. All right, come on, land. Nice. And this is exactly what you do in Pioneer. It's very good. Like I really like this game here. I really like this game here. This game reminds me a lot of Pioneer. It's it's like very aggressive. You don't have Thoughtseize, of course. You have Agonizing Remorse, which is more expensive. But the deck is aggressive. You have like a fast pressure. Some decks in the format are low, of course, in standard even more because of temples and etc. So that is exactly what I wanted what I wanted to do when I decided to play this deck today. Granted, it might not be, you know, the best choice, but I think if you want to build if you like if you like an agar deck and you you know not really and you kind of mono red either, I think this deck is fine. You can keep up with Simi Cramp as an Esper deck. Uh, you could put, you could try to put Agonizer, more Agonizing Remorse. I think if you, yeah, this is a thing that sometimes happens. Uh, there was a game uh, against Mono White Devotion on day one of PT Brussels when I've played a Mutavolt and four cast a Lock Twain as my first first five lands in Pioneer and I lost. Or I guess I don't, I don't remember what I did, but yeah, that's just you know the downside of playing these lands. But I think I'm I'm still very happy to choose to play them. All right, what do I bottom here? I could bottom a land and be pretty greedy. I think I will do that. I think it's a greedy choice, but I am I am going to. I'm on the draw, and I don't really need more lands. Favorite pasta shape. Uh, I don't really I don't really have a favorite pasta shape. It's really all about the sauce. Pasta shape. It could be rigatoni. The rigatoni are, are fine. Yeah. You're off a of bed. Thank you, Radical Mari. Good night. Uh, so put it as Bone Crusher Giant next turn. I'm just gonna pass here. I might get punished by not drawing the third land, which I bottomed. Yeah, I still like Team Reclamation a lot in standard. Um, I'm going to so I could go Marjorie's Rider and attack, but I think I'd rather go Gonzo Remorse and take like a Fires of Invention out of their hand. Yeah. So they have a Cavalier of Guilds, but they are one way away from one land away from casting. Then I'm gonna offer the trade. Because if I don't offer the trade, then they will attack back and they don't want to block because they have me and that Reaper, right? So I'd rather just offer the trade here because I don't want to trade myself. If they want to take it, that's fine. But I'm I'm down to trade three damage for four. I think I need to discard the uh Cavalier of Guilds here. I don't understand why opponent would play Shadow of the Sky in their deck. You should just play Storm's Wrath, right? Anyway, I'm fine with this uh, with this game going on here. 
exactly spaghetti all right so they just they just have, they are just holding a bunch of wrath of gods in their hand which i'm not really i don't really care i guess they can go shatter this guy here and draw a card at some point okay what i can do is uh going murderous rider on this guy what do you guys think i think that's a safe play I'll take four damage by doing so, but I think it's okay. This means that uh, they are, you know, I have a creature they don't, so they might just play a Wrath of God. I mean, they have three in their hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think Rigatoni are are good for Bologna, so yes. Day boon. Uh, all right. So I could cast a uh, I mean a Reaper here. I think it's okay. Uh, casting Blackland's Pargon is also reasonable, but I just want to be able to uh, optimize my mana base better. And if they go a Wrath of God here, I just draw a card. That's that's a good deal. And this is why I love Mina Reaper and I hate Ayara, because if I cast Ayara at every point in this game, that would just like one for one me. Whereas here, we we two for one them, because we draw a card out, out of our Mina Reaper. Or we would have reanimated War Strider, or we would have scrapped with War Strider. So it's very important that your three drop isn't just a dude that comes into play and does nothing. It's very important to know that. Why not play Wolf Mean the Reaper so you draw two cards? Because that would have drawn a card with Shutter the Sky. Because they had a, they had a 4-3, so they would have drawn a card. Okay? And I didn't want them to draw a card out of their out of, out of their Shutter the Sky. You need to play Shutter the Sky in a disadvantageous way for your opponents. You don't have to play in an advantageous moment uh, way for them. Now they will two for one me with this card, but they are under pressure here. Okay, and I could uh, draw a card and see what I draw, but I could draw an Azure Remorse, but I've already played two, so I think it's more likely that I just want to pass the turn and have a Murderous Raider up. So they will play Shadow the Sky here, and that is okay. I knew I knew that, but I still wanted to get three damage with my with my three one flat. Twitch chat assume you like pasta. Oh, of course I like pasta. Who doesn't like pasta? I don't believe I've seen any Italian who doesn't like pasta. Alright, they just cast a Bone Crusher Giant, which is not bad. Um, I'm just gonna go Murderous Rider end of turn. I don't want to draw a card off of Cast a Locked Win. Three damage here is too much if I just if I'm if I'm squaring off a Bone Crusher Giant. Thank you, Kubot. Alright, I'll pass. So once again, leaving this up or cast a locked win activation. Six of the Foresight, that is okay. Do I want to draw? I can draw a card. If I draw a card, I, I'd lose. So I have to go, I have to go, uh, Murderous Raider, go down to one life, but then I'll gain life with Murderous Raider attacking, so I can start drawing cards with Cast the Lockwin again. It's very important to sequence your cards correctly here, or I would have just not been able to cast that card. All right, I want to draw a card first. I will just lose one life to do that. I, I should have done this pre combat, because if I draw Rankle, I would have won the game. I've already played a lot of sweepers, so I'm not going to be afraid of that. All right, this was a good game. This was another. This was another one of these games. Sorry, play against control. You see their hand with Thoughtseize, or in my standard case, Agonize Remorse, and you shape your game plan around it. Okay, so it is very, very important. Oh yeah, pre combat would have died. <laughs> that is true. Thanks. So this is one of those games that really reminds me of playing Pioneer against Blue White Control, where you see the end with Thoughtseize and you shape your game plan around it. You make their Wrath of God not being advantageous, and you they just they just basically they just crumble because they play a very higher amount of lands than you. Maybe they play like twenty seven lands plus Fires of Invention, so that's basically like thirty one way of mana sources because Fires of Invention is basically mana source, and you just like. Empty their hand and just attack with them with like random stuff that you find around, which is like Murderous Raider in this case. So it is, it is, you know, this these games are what I really like about about this matchup. All right, I need to go to the bathroom. I'll be back in. Okay. Unfortunately, I did not sideboard, but I still have a good answer. Ah, all right, six of the four side war. Four side. Hello, Doom. Oh, do we have seven sixty-seven card? No, right? Yeah, I just I just did a load of sideboard. Do you remember to wash your hands? Always, always. My hands are always clean. All right, Tide Taker. 
interesting card. Uh, Doom was um, Doom's one three nine favorites, by the way. Let's just discard their creatures and leave them with just a bunch of reactive cards. Doom, is it is it the case that you sh you show up in the chat and our opponent plays Tithaker? Do you think is it a coincidence or uh, is it? Hmm. All right. What do we do? So the Baldur Cray is annoying. I probably should not have discarded this because I have Mother's Rider for that. All right. What do we do? Do you have the Baldur Cray? Did every kind of want to dis? What if I just cast a two three life link? It seems weird, but I think it could be a play. I think it could be a play. What's a cube card? Oh, Tide Taker? Oh yeah, that's true, Gira. I bought Tide Taker from the prize wall, a full Tide Taker to put in my cube. Hello, Air Rodri. Yes, I am back from Brussels. My PT result has been, it's been fine. I'm, I'm happy with my PT result. PTs are not easy. So any anything that's like money finish and points finish is always a, something that I'm happy with. All right, let's take the Vow Decree. I'm just gonna play Black and Spargan here. I can't play my opponent's turn because of Tide Taker. I'm just gonna cast it. I mean, it's it's not anything pretty, but my opponent will not be attacking anymore. Oh, or they do. I see that been doing well. Uh, yeah, I think we've been fine. I would have boarded out Rankle. And unfortunately, I didn't. Have, unfortunately, I did not sideboard for for this game because I I needed to take a leak and uh, I just took too long. Unfortunately. Air Marauder, I have I have a comment for you. I have a comment for you. Alright, I'm gonna block here. I don't wanna take damage anymore. And if they wanna play a sweeper, at least I can kill the 1-1-2. Yeah, draft on paper, play on arena. It's what I expected to. Are force rules rather necessary? They aren't. They're fine. They're 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 not they're not anything special. They're they aren't anything special. Okay, what do we do? Um mm -hmm. So I can go rankle. And they have the 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 defeating clarion there. Alternatively, I can go Wolf Strider. I think I, I think I like going Rankle. And attack with both. If they champ block Rankle, that's okay. This is a two for one, but but our hand is pretty stacked. Yeah, I didn't I didn't like the bullet seed at all angle. You can't follow Paper Magic? Yeah, right? Yeah, Paper Magic is hard to follow on stream. I I kind of agree there. Um, I'll go Grey Merchant. Hello, Warrook. Yeah, these are my official sleeves for every every pioneer, every arena deck. Alright, let's go get nice Ramos. What do you have in hand? Land. Let's go War Strider. Open his dead next turn. Five mana two four yeah that was. They draw the Valve decree. Uh, do we want to sacrifice the goat? I think so. Okay. Is Grimmature a trap in this list? I think you think I think it is. You do not be afraid to sideboard it out. Uh, it's still fine in some like matchups, and they can just push some extra damage at the end. It's not great. It could be spot of my aim. But I think it's okay. Um, what do we do? I could cast Murderer's Raider and kill them with a Grey Merchant next turn. Or I could just cast Grey Merchant, put them down to two life. What would it, what would the best to be? What would the best to do? Because if I cast Grey Merchant, if I cast Murderer's Raider and they draw Clarion, they still die next turn. I think it's fine to just cast a, a Murderer's Raider. Nightmare Shepard is fine. I just wanted to play Rankle instead. Cavalier of Gills. That's a great draw for my opponent. They will be able to use uh, the extra card and just, I don't know, kill my creatures. Let's see what they do. Shutter the Sky. Wow. That's a great draw for my opponent. All right. 
yeah, it could actually be true that Shadow Sky is better than my opponent's deck because they have a lot of four power cards. They just they just get the value off of Shelter in the Sky. I'm just gonna rebuild here, try to rebuild at least, put my opponent down to three, and then I don't know. I got a bunch of lethal threats. Unfortunately, was try where's War Strider? Oh, they exile with the Vow Decree. All right, Bone Crusher Giant kills that, and then they recast it. Okay, sure, they are ahead here. Come on, let's draw a Rankle. Might have the Abel Legion. That's a good draw in top deck mode. I think opponent is also in top deck mode. All right, I think we'd have here for words. Nope, nope, no, no. I'm uh, I'm testing with Seth Manfield for words. Okay, that's good. I'm just gonna attack with both of my creatures because they're forced to block Knight of the Abel Legion or they die. So this Knight Merchant, this Grim Merchant, will get through. And I pump only once so that in my opponent's turn, I will be able to let this survive to a Clarion. We want to play a land. Uh, yeah, why not, right? Because you have Castle, so you kind of just if I want Castle, I want to activate it and be able to draw to play a five drop. Good game, good game. Yeah, I think I've beat all the control deck with uh, with this mono black aggro deck. I have lost to mono red and like the bigger mono black devotion deck, but I think this deck is is okay at least.